hello guys welcome back to my channel and for today's video i will be sharing to you how i conducted an online quiz through quizzes as you can see in my screen this is the website of quizzes and you can actually see here the quiz that i will be giving to my grade 11 students you can actually assign this as homework or you can have it as a live quiz so after clicking live quiz, you can you have two options here, classic or instructor paced. When we say instructor paced, every question, the instructor decides when to go to the next lesson. So you can have it as a team. Participants will answer separately, but they, their score is as a team. Classic, where each student will answer individually and test. This one is for a more serious mode of administering this quiz but of course i will be choosing classic now i will be assigning this quiz to a class but since this is math 11 i will be assigning this to my grade 11 students newton einstein and euclid and of course i will be naming this quiz as math 11 summative test one next You can actually set here the number of attempts that they can have but here i will choose three you can have the option also to show if they got the right or wrong answer after every item but i turned it off since this is a summative test as well as the feature to see the questions and answers at the end of the quiz but i turned it off also so i also turned off power ups I will also be turning off timer because it causes them to really um, rattle <laughs> and I will be turning off show memes because it will distract them so that they would focus only in answering and of course do not forget to click the assign button um, after clicking that one you will see it here so you can see there waiting for participants to join but once um, students would um, get inside and try to answer, you can see there the students. I also tried, by the way, to open my personal account and then input the code, but I really could not um, do it because it's pre-assigned to a Google Classroom classes. So you um, outsiders could not really join. If I had this as a live quiz and then I did not assign this to any Google Classroom classes, then most probably I will be, um, I can have this one. Um, I can, uh, some uh, outsiders could join actually. So I am currently um, having this one pre um, to, sh to have it recorded. So as you can see here, Mary Lupagi is starting to answer. That's the only time that I could click start. Okay, so it's showing already. So this is what it looks like once the live quiz will start. Okay, so there you have it guys. I hope this helps a lot to you in making an online quiz. Okay.
so we have here four students who got a perfect score of 30. We have Tommy, Jana, Greta, and Kyle, but I will be checking it first because I will only be recording the first attempt that they have. Okay, so these are the scores. And of course, I will not be making use of the um, points here, but rather the number of items that they got correctly. Okay, so before I will end this quiz, I just would like to walk you through with what you can see on the website of quizzes because this one is the live dashboard. So this is what it looks like. This is my library. It is where you could find the um, quizzes and the lessons that I made. And this is the report. This is where you are going to see uh, the result of the quizzes that you give. And as you can see here, this one is running because this quiz is ongoing. It has a total of 167 participants and the accuracy is 67%. So it was assigned to three classes, namely Newton, Einstein, and Euclid. So later, I will be turning this off. But before that, um, this is what you will see on the summary. Okay, so as you can see here, Jana had one attempt only, Tami one, Greta two, Kyle two, Muhammad Rashid three, so say, for example, we have Georgie. Uh, for Georgie's first attempt, she got 25 out of 30. So that's what her score is going to be. For second attempt, she got 28 out of 30. Okay, so you can also review here each item and then where they got it wrong. Okay. Okay. Um, so this is uh, the result. And unfortunately, I have three students who were not able to take the quiz. We have Darby and Josh, Nicole and Davin. So hopefully they could take it um, as soon as possible. And on the next part is classes. This is where you will see my classes. We have here two, two classes in college, BSE, Math 1A uh, and 1B. And then we have grade 11, Einstein, Euclid, and Newton. Then we also have Archimedes, Aristotle, and Galileo, and sample class. So by the way, all of these class, uh, classes were imported from Google Classroom. So you can actually update it here and then save. Okay, and of course, the settings. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go back to our live dashboard. So I will now be ending this one. <coughs> so I guess someone is not yet done answering. Okay. Okay, so I will now be ending this one. Okay, so once you will click end, this is what you will see. Okay, so these are the top three students. Okay, and it will be showing you the result or the summary. Okay, so we have here for class. So these are the highlights for class accuracy. The class answered 67% of questions correctly. For number two, what is the toughest question? So this is the toughest question. 
what is the solution of the given equation. They got it wrong because some of them answered with x. Okay. Okay, some answered 1. Okay, so but um, in cases like this, I will be considering this one because they wrote x. I was not able to put it on the alternative solution. Okay, but of course, definitely one third is wrong. It should have been one and one third. Okay, very good. Okay. And for this one, um, I will be considering this because he really she really showed the correct answer, then it's good. So Alan Padilla, I will also consider this one. Okay, this one, I will also consider this. Okay, now, let us go to the longest question. So this is the longest question that it took them to answer. What is the solution of the given equation? So same solution, same question for the most difficult. <coughs> but I think this will not become the most difficult if I will consider their answers. Yes, so the average time it took them to answer this one is 206 seconds. So definitely this is more than 3 minutes. A little over 3 minutes. And interesting facts. 3 questions had an accuracy of less than 40%. So these are probably the most difficult questions. But I can see there are only 2 here. So question number 22, it's one of the most difficult. What is the most uh, what is the solution of the given equation and also number 21 is difficult and of course number 22 and the reason why these one these questions are difficult is because it's fill in the blank okay so they have to provide the answer and supposed to be they should have provided only the the number however some put x equals so that's why they got it wrong and this one is also difficult. What value of x will make the given inequality undefined? They should have answered number only, but some answered the solution set of this given rational inequality. Okay? So, you, by the way, you can also download this one. Okay, now, let us exit. When you exit the live dashboard, it will redirect you to the... Um, home page of physics and now let's go to the reports since I already ended the quiz as you can see here there's no word here that you can running that you can see here so if you will be clicking that one you will no longer see the word running here okay so this is the result you can actually view it by question. Okay. There you have it, guys. Okay. So you can also see here something like this. So say, for example, let us go back to number... Uh, where was that? Mm, say, for example, this one. What is the solution? So, say for example, the answer here is negative 5. I will, also, I will consider the answer of Polycharm, Daphne, James, Jillian, Jeline, um, Lorraine, I will consider her answer. This one, I will not consider this answer because it's really wrong. For Dalion, Adrian, I will consider his answer. Stella's answer is also correct. Mary Farrell is also correct. Okay. Okay. So there you have it, guys. This is um, how you conduct an online quiz okay so thank you so much for watching bye